If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question before moving on. What we need to do in order to solve the question is write out the equation that describes the current as a function of time for an RL circuit. Here is that equation as it's presented in the textbook. What we want to note is that the term EMF divided by resistance, that actually represents the maximum current that will be attained in the circuit. So we're going to go ahead and replace the EMF divided by resistance with this term I max, which again is the maximum current. We next note that the question mentions that the current will increase to 90% of its final value. Mathematically, we can write that statement as follows. So we can follow along this equation with the words that we just underlined. So again, the current will become 90% of the final value. The final value is simply the maximum current. And so we're going to replace I with the expression 0.9 times I max. We'll notice that I max appears on the left side and the right side of the equation. So if we divide both sides of the equation by I max, it would algebraically cancel. Now what we're going to do is actually solve this equation for this time constant, which is represented by the Greek letter tau. And so what we need to do next is subtract one from both sides. Next, since a negative appears on the left and right, we can divide both sides by negative one, which will essentially change those negatives into positives. Since tau is trapped, so to speak, in the exponent, we need to take the natural log of both sides of the equation. And through the properties of natural logs, we know that this exponent can be shifted to the front of the ln of e. Now the natural log of e is just equal to one, so we can cancel that term. Next, it might help to put a one underneath the ln term. And when we do that, we can see we have a fraction on the left side, a fraction on the right side. We can actually flip both fractions or invert them. And that's going to bring tau from the denominator up to the numerator. So it's going to look like this. Remembering that our goal was to solve for tau, we can multiply both sides of the equation by negative t. And that way they cancel on the right hand side. Now next it's going to be useful to remind ourselves that tau is equal to the inductance divided by the resistance or L divided by R. So we're going to go ahead and substitute L divided by R for tau. And the reason for that substitution is that we're trying to calculate the resistance. Now the resistance is trapped in the denominator. So one more time, we're going to have to invert both sides of the equation. So we're going to flip this fraction upside down and flip this one upside down. And then finally, we can multiply both sides of the equation by L. And then we can plug in the known values. The inductance L is given to us in a standard unit of Henry's. And then the time was given to us in the standard unit of seconds. So once we simplify that, we would get a value for the resistance of approximately 1.92. And since everything was in its standard unit, the resistance comes out in a standard unit of ohms. So this turns out to be the final answer. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, click the thumbs up icon. Also subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Remember that you can send in your own question to this email address and I'll do my best to post the answer to it on YouTube.